Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have some very important Checkmate and iOS 13 jailbreak related news to discuss. Another iOS 13 jailbreak demo was released and we could be very close to our first Checkmate based jailbreak. This is really the biggest news since Axiom X released a video showing that he could verbose boot on his iPhone 10. This is the next development. This is the next in that series of events. So if you happen to miss any of our coverage on the Checkmate exploit, definitely check in your cards right now as well as down below in the description because there's really a lot to it. It's beneficial for all iPhones, not just the ones it supports. Definitely check out those videos for more information. But let's just go ahead and get straight into today's new details. So Luca Tedesco tweeted out the following with a video demo, quote, demo of booting two devices, SE on 13.1.2 and 10 on 12.4 with Checkmate IO USB. All patches are being done dynamically and it works across most devices slash versions across 12 and 13. And the bootload logo that you're seeing right now actually changes based on which portion of the boot sequence it's on. It looks to be like a checkerboard style boot logo, which could be a hat nod toward the Checkmate Exploits name. So guys, this is some very, very cool stuff. And you might be wondering, well, is it a full-fledged jailbreak? It seems like it is because he said in response to someone who asked him, uh, we have right here, someone asking him whether or not it's actually jailbroken. He said, quote, it's jailbroken, but I haven't installed any utilities yet, which is great. It seems like he's already achieved a jailbreak that we ourselves are accustomed to as the end user. So potentially it could already be ready for tweak installation, seeing as in his original tweet, he did say that the patches are being done dynamically. So he might've already finished applying the necessary jailbreak patches, again, that are required to get us to what we would know and recognize as a jailbreak. And as for a release, I found this interesting too. He said that it will be released as soon as we fix a couple of known bugs. Now in the past, Lucas said that he doesn't plan on releasing any more jailbreak utilities. That seemingly changed. I'm going to keep you guys fully updated as the situation develops and progresses. So be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. Also click that notification bell to ensure that you don't miss out anytime we release new videos. And if you guys want even more details and an up-to-date status as to whether or not a jailbreak is released at any given time, definitely check out our jailbreak status checker page. It will be linked in your cards as well as down below in the description. It's the very first link. And again, that page is dynamic. So the second a jailbreak's released, it will be listed there. And that basically wraps up today's video, guys. Some very important news. A jailbreak has been achieved, works on the latest public firmware, iOS 13.1.2, works on iOS 12 even, as he demoed with that iPhone 10 running 12.4, and all jailbreak patches are seemingly done. He just has to finish up, finalize some things, correct some bugs, and maybe we'll get a release soon. Again, subscribe for more details. I'll let you guys know as things progress, because as I'm sure those of you who are veteran jailbreakers already know, things in the jailbreak world can change at a moment's notice. So I'm here to let you guys know if and when that happens. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Oh,